Welcome to Creative Vibes and Vision. My name is Tiffany Gallup and this is our first video on I have my Cricut, now what? What do I need? So I'm gonna walk you through a couple of the essentials that I feel are absolutely positively necessary to make your day run smoother when you are working with your Cricut. So first and foremost, um, the first thing I have here is your cutting board. Um, you can get these off of Amazon. You can get them in packs of three. They come in different colors and diff different lengths. Um, we're gonna talk about how to clean these in another, in another video, but the first and foremost is that you will need a cutting board. Um, and this was mine. Second thing that you're absolutely gonna need, I like to use these. These are, I got them from Dollar Store. Um, it is a um, lint roller. I use the lint rollers before I press anything with my heat press. Um, I like to get all of the lint off of it. I like to clean the area around my item, whatever I'm pressing, before um, I press it. And I do that with a lint roller and or um, sanitary or um, like a, a wipe. Um, second thing that you're going to need, or no, third thing, you're going to need transfer tape. If you are working with, um, this is some Cricut transfer tape, there's two different kinds that I know of. Um, there's regular transfer tape and then there's like strong transfer tape. You're going to need transfer tape when you're working with permanent vinyl. Um, this is essential. You will need this. Um, I got this from Walmart. You can get it from Amazon. There's a couple of different websites that you can get it in bulk for super cheap. Um, if you're interested, let me know. I can give you that information, but you're going to need transfer tape if you're working with permanent vinyl. Um, this is permanent vinyl. So I know your question is, well, how do you know if it's permanent or not permanent? Um, this is how you know. The answer is on the back. It will say permanent vinyl on the back um, right here. Permanent vinyl always, always, always has a white sheet on the back of it. Um, whether or not it says permanent or not, if it has a white sheet on the back of it, it is permanent and or semi-permanent um, or re what they call removable vinyl. But it will tell you that if it's removable. Um, fourth thing is the next set of vinyl. This is HTV vinyl. So... How do you tell? There is no white on this side, and it has a very glossy side here. Um, this is the side that you will um, put your heat press on, this glossy side. And we'll talk about how to load that in a second, too. Um, I did just mention the transfer tape. So this one says strong grip transfer tape, whereas this one did not. So there are that's the two different types, the strong grip and the not strong grip. And it really does matter on what type of um, permanent you're working with. There's glitter, there's textured, there's, oh my goodness, there's so many different types of vinyl, it's beyond ridiculous. Um, but depending on what type you're working with will determine what kind of transfer tape you need so that it will lift up off of your paper. Um, you will need scissors. Scissors are essential. Um, any kid scissors will work or adult scissors are fine. Um, these are my kids. They're mine now, though. Um, my next essential item is my roller. Oh, God. Please, please, please be careful with these. Um, when I first started using them, I had no idea just how sharp they were. Oh, goodness. They're sharp. So be careful. Um, this one, honestly, guys, I got from a dollar store. Um, I couldn't resist purchasing it because it was a dollar. Um, it is slightly smaller than the other one, um, which I got from Walmart. But this helps you cut your vinyl. So I wanted to show you. Uh, just how great it will do that um, and how quick it will do that. Be careful when you're cutting on your cutting board because I will show you that if you cut too hard, you will actually cut a hole in your in your board um, just by using this tool right here. So I've done it and I just wanna let you know to be very careful with it because that is what will happen. And if you get your fingers caught in that, you will be someone so very sorry. Um, so I want to show you just how, well, just how it cuts. So you can see that it helps you cut a super straight line. You just bear down and it cuts just like that. This also will cut fabric too. So I use it when I'm sewing my masks. So get you one of these. It will make your life easier. Um, in addition to the scissors, um, what size you have does not matter. These, um, Cricut makes these, but I'm not paying Cricut prices for them. 
you guys, I got this from the dollar store in the dental section. You guys know where you get the, like the tongue scraper, the mirror, and it has like this little cool tool. So I'd suggest getting two of them because if you misplace one or what have you, you have two. Um, but I use this, these, this tool, um, and I pick off my excess. We call this weeding in uh, the artistic um, creativity world. We call this weeding. It has nothing to do with any uh, other substance. Um, this is called weeding. So taking the excess off. Um, I made this cool little contraption. I want to show this to you. Um, so when you get into this, you will realize that these little pieces of scrap material will be everywhere. So I made this cool little contraption. I got this top from the dollar store and this is just a regular, actually it's an old candle. Um, I screwed it on, but I put it in here because what you'll notice is that this will be on your carpet, this will be on your clothes, it'll track all through the house. So I use this little tool right here and this is considered weeding. So once again, this came from the dollar store, this top came from the dollar store and this is an old candle. Um, and then you can just see how I'm picking up the excess, pulling it off. Like I said, it's called weeding, just like that. Um, the bigger pieces you can probably put in the trash can, but I try to keep everything in there and dump it later. So um, this is HTV. This is the, this is the side that you that you would press, not the side with the um, the texture or the actual material. Um, and then of course, like a pen or a pencil. That's about it. Um, oh, one last thing. Um, a measuring tape. So very essential. This one was given to me um, by a community sponsor. Um, but very essential because when you are um, making a shirt or anything, you want it to be even and you want it to be um, in the middle, you want to use a measuring tape to make sure you're doing that. Um, and other than that, I think that's just about it. Those are like the main key things that other than unboxing your Cricut machine, you'd probably want to get to make your day go smooth and successfully. So I hope you have learned something. If you have any questions, drop them down in the inbox or email me or text me or message me. I hope you learned something and have a great afternoon.